What up, y'all? I five go with Flow Talks. Out here running on the north side of Chicago. It's rainy, foggy, cloudy, chilly autumn day. Yeah, gotta hyphenate that shit. Hyphenate all of it. Anyways, just thinking about the power that Dr. Jeffrey Mishlove and his show, New Thinking Aloud, and the old Thinking Aloud as well, have really changed my understanding of how I look at science and how I look at myself and how I look at my emotions and nervous system and body and physiology. And the tough distinctions that many of us have to make as, I don't know, agnostics. I'm an agnostic. I can't say one or the other. I can't say theism or atheism. The hard thing about I guess agnosticism and even yeah, just agnosticism for now that we have to come to terms with the physical reality that science explains to us and the internal reality that our body feels for us and one can be completely measured with our with our lens, with the aperture our body and our five senses gives us. But I think now in science, we're coming to this point in which we can't explain the things we're seeing and we can't really measure them. And that a lot of the scientific facts we hold are truly just presumptions or assumptions or theories or theoretical models and I'm no mathematician I'm no psychologist I'm no you know cosmologist I know nothing of science I've never conducted a empirical length and you know an empirical study in my life I've only interpreted I've only critiqued I've only read and reread and reviewed in new lenses through my degree in English and media communications So, I can't look at the science and say, and rework the calculations and reaffirm their holdings. And many people can. I wish I could do more. But all I can really do is just feel, feel my truth and try to interpret the symbols and the texts and the insinuations that are presented to me on a daily basis. I can't go and measure them. I can't go and quantize and create unequivocal results proven by theoretical models. I can only feel out in my world by interpreting the vast array of medium that bombard me and also interpret how I myself am interpreting and what viewpoint I'm interpreting from. That's all I'm able to do. And I guess some may say that 
we need more people who are less empirically driven and more open to grander, grander more unprovable spaces of truth to let thoughts sort of open up in them but isn't it a shame that I'm not able to go into their world and interpret their texts maybe I could but it uh I couldn't tell you the last time I tried to read a a paper on geometry a paper on inter stellar I don't know radio communication like I don't know any of the science I read the headlines I learn about the breakthroughs of science and act as if I do understand it but I don't and although it is beautiful I trust it just as much as I trust our religious institutions it comes down to the fact that the only thing I really can trust is myself and my family I guess I mean and those I come into contact every day with because the institutions of science and the institutions of religion over time have broken my trust I guess so I give my trust to everyone I meet and I only take it away until I guess they break my trust and trust is a tricky thing and I saw a little graphic the other day of is the US a map of the of the US divided into red and blue territory and two images one from what 2000 US 2016 look US looked like to 2020 US looked like the green or the 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 blue being people who watch CNN CNN was you know all over the map of this 2016 map and Fox News was the red blotches and you know you'd expect it in the south some a little bit in the south in Texas and maybe a little bit in the Midwest And there was, there's just like a little bit of Fox News. And a lot of CNN. But then in the 2020 map, it was all Fox News. And no CNN. People are thinking, it's like, oh my God, those people who are now, now that everyone is all watching Fox News, they're all gonna vote for Trump. It's like, no, it's not the effect. The effect was, 2016, everyone lost their faith in CNN. Everyone, CNN broke everyone's trust. And people stopped watching. So now, Fox News is more popular in those areas because there aren't all the other people watching CNN to over, to make it the majority. And, I don't know, I've got a lot of friends who report they watch Fox News just to get an idea of what's going on on the right. But that's a tricky line to walk to 
tricky propaganda machine to let yourself be tickled by. And I don't trust it. These are the same same people who are like, oh my god, Joe Rogan. What the fuck, Joe Rogan? It's like, dude, you're watching Fox News. What the fuck, Fox News? I mean, yeah, Joe Rogan, he's got a lot of shit he says that I do not agree with. And just getting more macho, more Texan by the day. But, you know, it's still not Fox News. It's still three hour conversations in which people are allowed to say whatever the fuck they want, not highly curated war and economy, the war economy machine propaganda. It's the marketplace of wartime at all times. Anyways, that's short. I only got a little bit of space on my SD card. So, Zy Feigl, hit me, hit me up in the comments below. Try to subscribe if you want to. But much love to Dr. Jeffrey Mishlove. Much love to Faith. And let's open ourselves up away from science and feel out what is right. We all know what's right. We know how to solve police brutality. We know how to solve homelessness. We know how to solve widening gaps of, between the rich and the poor. We know how to solve all this shit. We just have to feel it. Let the science fall back and let us feel out what is right. The numbers crunch us to death as we've seen with American and German fascism and fascism all around the world. Is everyone following orders? So I say, fuck that. Peace and love. I Feigl. Flow Talks. On Twitter, I underscore F-E-I-G-L-E. Later.